pause and breathe. Hands come to heart center. Pressing the feet into the earth, eyes closed again, once again. Notice if there's anything happening in the body. Left leg comes up towards the chest. And we're going to just press it back into our long lunge. We're going to keep the move, movement nice and fluid here. I'm going to turn around so I don't have to face, so I don't have to put my back to you. So we're going to inhale our arms up for high lunge. Right leg is in front. And then exhale, we're going to come down. Our left arm, our left hand is going to come down next to the right knee. And we're going to circle up and around just this light twist and then inhale coming back up for that high lunge and exhale moving slow and beautiful through your space creating a nice piece of art with your arm as it slowly drifts up exhale twist and inhale, let's come on up. We'll do that one more time. And then exhale, coming down. And around. Inhale, coming up. And let's bring our left foot to meet the right at the top of the mat. Exhale, release. And I'll turn around once again, just so I don't have to not face you. Inhale, arms coming up. Right leg comes up. We're gonna gracefully press that right leg back into our deep lunge with control if we can. Inhale, arms coming up once again. And exhale, we're just repeating what we did on this side. Right arm comes down, left arm comes up and around. S slowly easing into our muscles tonight. Inhale. And exhale, coming down. Down and around. And then inhale. Building strength in the legs. And exhale. One last time through. And this time, we're going to plant both of our hands down and bring the left leg back up into downward facing dog. Send that booty high to the sky. Pressing the palms into the earth, keeping a slight bend in the knees. Let's pedal out the feet here. So left heel comes down, right heel comes up, and switch. Getting into the back legs here. And we're going to just keep going with that pedaling of the feet, if that feels good. One more time through. And exhale, and if you need a break here, you can come into child's pose. Your seat goes towards your heels, or else we'll move into plank pose. And inhale back into downward facing dog. And maybe you move through child's pose here before you come back into downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, coming back, child's pose or downward facing dog, inhale, plank, and exhale, coming back. We'll do that one more time, coming back up into downward facing dog, and inhale for plank pose. And we'll just go back into the downward facing dog one more time just to bring the left foot back, up and back, and step it through. 
all the way using your hands to help it if needed for our low lunge this time. So we're going to bring our right knee down to the earth and coming up with our left leg in front. Setting up like this, we can keep our toes tucked. And we're going to bring our torsos forward like a beautiful wave in the ocean. We're going to go forward. We're going to lift up through the chest. And then we're going to open up to the beautiful sky above into our low lunge. We can leave our hands down low or we can bring them up next to our ears if we like. Breathing into this right hip flexor. Now we're getting a little bit deeper into our muscles after we warmed up a little bit and easing ourselves into it. This left hip might want to jut out to the left. Bring it in, back and down. And if you're feeling any sensations in the lower back, just back it up a little bit. And let's come on back for our hamstring stretch. So half splits pose here. So we're just straightening through the left leg, but keeping it slightly bent as we come over, up and over into the stretch. If you had blocks nearby, you could use them, or you could just put your hands on your hips here. Lengthening up through the crown, being gentle with the hamstrings. No need to force this one. Breathing in, lengthening out. Exhale, lengthening out. Slowly coming up. And we'll just come back, bring our hands to the floor in front. And let's bring the left leg back in a table position. We'll just switch sides. So let's bring the right leg in front for our low lunge. Coming up nice and tall here. I like to have my, my toes tucked here. You could do it either way, but I feel like you get a nice better pressing into the earth and a lengthening up through the crown with the toes tucked. So once again, coming into this low lunge the same way we did before, we're going to bring our torsos forward. Lifting up through the chest and then going back. Maybe we adding in the arms here. Maybe noticing if we're tensing up anywhere else in the face or the shoulders. Noticing and relaxing that if you can. Letting go of tension in this left hip flexor.
not worrying about how far we go in the pose. So I'm pressing out through the right leg and pressing back through the right hip. Back and down. Gently. As I inhale, lengthen through the crown. Exhale. Maybe fold a little bit further. One more here. And we'll come back to that tabletop position once again. Inhale up into downward.